Hi children, welcome to Eclid Learning. So uh, this is the workbook activities uh, for grade 8 and this is the chapter 3. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, there are a separate playlist for the uh, textbook, right, from grade 6 onwards. And uh, for this specific chapter also, I have done a separate video for the textbook. So first watch that one and uh, please do the workbook uh, activities by yourself and then come back and watch uh, this particular uh, video because I will be doing all the activities in this workbook chapter uh, step by step, right? So you can uh, first try out and then uh, please follow the video, right? Okay, then let's start. So uh, this is grade eight, chapter three, uh, workbook uh, playlist. So in this chapter, we are basically uh, talking about word processing, right? So basically I'm using a Microsoft Word uh, for these practical sessions. So initially they have given you uh, some uh, tools which is available in the GUI in uh, some of these word processing software. So this is basically Microsoft Word. Uh, so here you can see uh, these ones are all text formatting tools where you can uh, change the font type, font size, uh, to uh, make the letters big or small, right? You can bold it, italic, underline, right? Uh, superscript, subscripts, right? So uh, this one is for the sentence cases, lowercase, uppercase, those kind of things. Highlighting, color change, right? So a lot of things can be done as formatting for the text. And this part is basically for the alignment and positioning. Uh, so the top part, uh, We'll have bullets and numbering. Uh, in here, we have some alignment uh, options like center, justify, left align, right align, like that. Okay. Yes. And here they have introduced. So in you in your word processing software, if you open it up, you can see a blinking line, which is a vertical blinking line. So we call it as a cursor. So when you type something, it will actually type from here onwards, right? Uh, activity 3.1, uh, so examine the document given below carefully and list down uh, the formatting tools. Now they have given you a document and you have to tell, okay, what are the things you have done, uh, you have used, like what are the four text formatting tools you have used. For example, uh, for the first one, uh, they have uh, pointing, they have pointed to nice and green words. So you can see uh, they have different font colors. So for the first one, you can think about font color. And for the green, you can see G is capital. So you can go for this uh, capitalized each word option. I will show you this thing when we are doing this activity by ourselves. And then uh, this green is kind of bold. So that's why I have written B here. Second one, it's for this an apple thing. So you can see it's a different font. Now it seems these are like... Um, different uh, like uh, Times New Roman, but this font is different. So here the font type is uh, different. So font and font size is bigger. It's underlined, right? If you want, you can uh, make it bold also, something like that is bold. And um, this one, every letter is capital. So you can think, uh, okay, we can use uppercase for this. Third one, uh, first letter is uh, capital and it's bold. Right, so you can use sentence case and uh, bold for this third change. Fourth change, it's uh, basically font color is different and it's bold. So you can tell font color and the bold. Uh, fifth one, you can see it's a text is like kind of highlighted. So you can think, okay, this is text highlighting color has been used for the green color. Sixth one, it's this, so it is italic. Right. You can see it's uh, slightly uh, shifted uh, to the right side. Okay. Okay. Then they're asking you to um, open a Microsoft Word. Uh, so my one is somewhat latest edition uh, than 2013, but uh, depending on your software, mostly the steps won't change, but the UI components sometimes may be different. So they're asking you to go uh, for... Um, they are asking to first open Microsoft Office uh, Word package and then uh, go for file, new, and ask get the blank document, right? Okay, then they ask you to check the cursor, right? 
So uh, at the each of the sentence, you have to press enter key. So if you want to go for a next line, always you have to press the enter key, right? Um, yes, that's what basically they have told. So this particular uh, text you have to type, right? So let me quickly uh, get that. So I will open a blank document, right? So I have already typed it uh, earlier. Yeah. So I will paste it like this. Right? Okay, so uh, then they are telling uh, some things like this. So selecting, how to select uh, these things. Now, it's very easy. If you want to select, uh, if it is one word, letter or one word like that, so you uh, press your left click, right? And drag and drag your cursor, right? If you want to go for any number of sentences, you can follow the same thing, right? So that's one thing. So if we check one letter or several, just click and drag the mouse point across the letters. Several words also same thing. Click on the first word and drag the mouse pointer. Sentence also same thing I showed you. Click click on the first word and just drag until the last line. Right? Uh, the different ones are, for example, if you want to select a word, you just go to the word and double click. Right? Go to the word and double click. If you want to select the para, now here uh, there are no much para concept here, but if you want to select the para, just three, uh, click three times. Can you see? It select the paragraph actually, not only the line, but paragraph. But here it's anyway uh, like paragraphs. Each line is like separated. That's why it's selected like that. Okay. So for the single word, double click on the word, right? Uh, if it's a paragraph, uh, do a triple click, right? Uh, so if you want to select the full uh, document, you have to do uh is like control and key both the uh, keys together control key and the a if you press together it will select whole document right so that is how you do the selections right um yes then they're asking you to save the file so already you have uh, this idea right how to save a file so you have to go for file and save and you have to give the location and a suitable name and save right so uh, if you want to save in a new place, uh, always you have to go with the uh, save as and give another name, right? But if you uh, want to continuously save while you're doing this, uh, it's just a uh, file save or control S will uh, go for the save options. So after saving uh, and if, after you are done with the thing, you can just go and close it. Either you can click like this, the close button, or you just uh, go for file close. Right. Yeah, let's uh, do this activity. Right. Okay, so uh, let me save and show you file. Save as. Save. Okay. Okay. So I will select all the um, uh, content and I will change the font type to Times New Roman, right? And I will make it big, uh, large as well, right? Okay. So first one, uh, it's about an apple. So you, can you see it's a bit, uh, the font is a bit different. Right, so we can go for something like this and we can bold it, we can underline it and we can increase the font size as well. Okay, uh, remove the bold. Yeah. We'll, we'll remove the bold, right? Uh, then an apple, this one it's bold. This one, uh, it's orange color. So you can go here and select some orange color, yes. And this one as well, slice 
and red even though it's red it's uh, so this one is green and it's uh, bold and can you see it's having um, capital uh, letter so you can uh, go for this uh, thing and you can select okay capitalize each word so that particular word will become capitalized and uh, taste it should be italic and uh, this one again it's green so this one it's blue font color uh, this one it's highlighted as green Yes, and this one, it's again, uh, we'll make it blue. Okay, so yes, we are done with it. Um, yeah, all the formattings are done. Right? Activity 3.3. Study carefully the document given below. Identify the alignment and positioning tools that are used. Write them down in the blanks according to the num. So what are the positioning and alignment to, uh, tools? So these are the text formatting tools, right? So text formatting tools, we have size, font, bold, italic, color, subscript, superscript, and highlighting, right? Uh, but when it comes to alignment and positioning tools, we have align right, align left, line and paragraph spacing, shading, center, justify, bullets and numbering. So from this, you have to fill this second, uh, activity 3.3, you have to fill with uh, alignment and positioning tools, right? So first one, it's center. You can see that. Second one, uh, there are two things for this uh, second one and sixth one. They have uh, used the same paragraph. So for the second one, uh, it's kind of green color. So we'll uh, think, okay, this is for the uh, shading. Right? It's shaded. It's given the background for this paragraph. Third one, it's uh, kind of left aligned. Right? And fourth one, they have used numbering. Fifth one, it's bullets. Uh, sixth one, so it's aligned with what? Justify, right? Can you see these lines are perfectly uh, nicely ended? So it's justify. And for the seventh one, line and paragraph spacing has been used. So you can see extra paragraph spaces there. And eighth one, it's right, align, and bold. Uh, those stuff are actually bolding is uh, text formatting. So that's why I have not written it. But therefore, to do this, we have to bold it as well. Right, but when it comes to alignment and positioning tools, we can tell okay, it's only right align. Right, so um, here also they ask you to open a new document, type the text given, right, and save the file and uh, do the relevant formatting uh, to get the practice. First, uh, I will make all of these um, Times New Roman and we'll make the font size a bit bigger. Uh, the first one, uh, it's kind of a bit larger than the other uh, texts. Um, I will make it like 26. And it is center, right? This one, up to earth, right? So there's a printing, there's a spelling mistake. So let me correct it. Yes. So for this one, I should uh, justify, right, like this, okay? And I have to shade it with kind of a light uh, green like this. Things to do, it's anyway nothing I need to do because it's anyway left aligned. And um, from plant a tree to a, a tree that keeps flood away, you, I have to use numbers like this, okay? And for these things, I will use bullets. So uh, you have to go for this and uh, we don't have the tick sign. So you have to define a new bullet here. 
and under symbols you can select that one this one see so uh, i have already uh, got it now after that i will have it in my bullet library right So this last line, I will make it um, right align and make it bold. Yes. And um, I can see here some more spaces are there. So let me add some more line spaces. Um, yeah, this would work. Line and, uh, line and paragraph spacing I have used. Yeah, this one. Yeah, so that is the new document, right? Uh, 3.4, let us create the document here. Yeah. 3.5, so uh, create the document given below and save it. So you have to uh, do this particular document as well. So this one also I have already typed. Yeah, so I will select all of them and make the uh, font Times New Roman and the size kind of yeah, 22, yes. So the top font, it's bold, underlined, and the font size is also a bit big, right? And it's brown color. And it is centered. Right? This one, Yeah, up to here, it's, um, yeah, we can think it's like justify. So we'll make it justify. And for these three, uh, I will uh, use the number ring. And you can highlight it, sorry. Highlight with the blue, this one. with yellow and this one with like a kind of purple we'll go for this color so this one will make it bold and yeah those are italic also this one is italic, bold, and it is a brown color. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, we are done with it, yes. So, uh, this is up to activity 3.3, actually, uh, this is up to activity 3.5. So this is the first part of uh, chapter three workbook. I will do another video to cover the rest of the workbook activities because otherwise this video will be a bit uh, longer. So uh, thank you very much for watching my video. So please uh, check the other part as well for this uh, word processing chapter. So if you haven't still subscribed my channel, please do subscribe and please add any comment. Uh, like what you have learned what I can improve on these things so they are very uh, really helpful for me right so uh, thank you very much